Sound waves, what a project it's been. It's been so lovely. The fact that they could produce something that was a piece of artwork and suddenly it became units of sound for them. And the fact that they can just use any instruments. They might not be the children that normally go to a music lesson and have independent lessons themselves. I like experimental music because you can just grab anything you want and just play it. One of the powerful things about experimental music is that you don't have to have any experience playing a musical instrument before. You can turn a graphic score into something really cool. We've got a lot of children in our class that have got English as a second language. They have really come out of themselves. And we've had a little boy that's just come um, from another country and he couldn't speak any English. And he's really, really thrived in drawing his emotions on a piece of paper to then put music to it. A lot of our children have never performed anywhere before and they've found it an absolutely amazing experience and we'd love to be part of it again. It feels good and expressive for, me, for my mu music part of my life. My favourite part was everything. It's been amazing uh, because I've never actually met a real met musician in my life. The children who are um, possibly the quieter members of the class, the shyer children, have seen that they can produce something that they are uh, willing to produce in front of an audience. And the biggest thing that we've seen is that they are now a little bit more confident in all elements of the curriculum and not just music or art, but will have a go at, at other things as well that has been brilliant. My favourite bit is when we got to draw our pieces and, and did it and then we played music out of it. Every single one of them has got something out of it. They've flourished in their own way. I think even for primary teachers who aren't music specialists, yes. I think it's good for them as well because it develops their CPD as well. My name's Bryn Harrison. I'm a professor of music at the University of Huddersfield. We were approached by Shape North in the summer about working both with the Huddersfield Contemporary Music Festival and the Edges Ensemble and collaborating with, with Shape North on this uh, schools project, which I think has been incredibly ambitious. Edges Ensemble have been absolutely fantastic. They've worked so hard with, with all of the children. And these kind of projects are really, really important, um, both for the department and for the festival. I think this represents the next generation of, of musicians, composers, um, artists, and to see the children involved in this way was, was, was really fantastic. And I think in this instance, the children were directing their own pieces. They had full input on how to realize their graphic scores. For most of them, it'll certainly be their the first time we've been engaged in actually creating musical scores of this kind. This has been an amazing project to work with. We've had five schools from very diverse communities engaged. It's been so lovely to see so many children enjoying music making and understanding that you don't have to have a traditional musical background to partake in music and being a composer and having your music heard by so many people. It's been really wonderful watching the children expressing themselves through visual arts and really processing images into graphic scores and thinking about how that would turn into a piece of music and how they want other people to hear that music and how they want the music to be played and from going in the classroom experiencing all the joy and experimentation to taking it here to the stage at Huddersfield Town Hall has been phenomenal and one thing that's really struck me has been the amount of parents who have been today to immerse themselves in experimental music and take that journey with the children.